test equipment. The tests I find most important for a reef aquarium are ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, DKH, calcium, and phosphates. Just follow the directions inside the box. Heaters are essential to any tropical fish tank. A friend of mine purchased a 300 watt heater which malfunctioned and fried his fish. Now he uses three 100 watt heaters as a safety precaution. If you use metal halides and or the room that houses the tank is warm, you might not need a heater at all. The metal halides add heat to the water. You might want to start off with a watt or two per gallon and add another heater if necessary. Water. In order to get the highest quality water for your tank, you should use an RODI unit. An RODI unit filters out impurities in the tap water to give you pure water. Whatever you do, don't use tap water in your tank because you would be fighting a losing battle. Tap water introduces chemicals into the tank that you might have to spend a great deal of time and effort to remove. Also, get a high quality salt water mix. Salinity. A hydrometer is a must to notice salinity. The higher the number, the saltier the water is. I like to keep my reef tanks at 1.022 to 1.025. Corals like water a little saltier, closer to 1.025. And fish like it a little lower, closer to 1.022. For the fish only tanks, I like to keep them at 1.018. In the fish only tanks, this will keep the disease level down. When setting up a larger system, it is the right thing to set up a quarantine tank. Just buy a 20 gallon starter kit many stores sell with a light, hood, heater, and filter that fits on the back. If you are setting up a smaller system, try to get your fish from a source that has quarantined the fish for at least two weeks. It's also handy to have some bags, scrapers, nets, and buckets handy. The buckets from the salt work great for tank maintenance, so don't throw them away.